The Tesla instruction manual says do not use an extension cord for charging your car. Well, we all know they have to say that to make the lawyers happy. But let's do a little test today to see in real life how much of a difference does it make compared to just using the charge cable that comes with the car by itself. I'm testing the wall outlet with no load on it and we're getting a baseline voltage of 122.3 volts. Now here's what we're going to use in a test. First we'll use a baseline of just the standard charging adapter by itself. Then we have three extension cords here. This first one is a 25 foot 14 gauge cable. It's too small to see but it is stamped in here the size of the cable. And this red one is also a 25 foot 14 gauge cable but this one was purchased at a Walmart and I mention that because Walmart is not known for quality items and we're going to see if it is as good as a better brand cable or not. And this green cable is a 40 foot 16 gauge cable. On its label it's rated lower. It's rated 13 amps as opposed to the 15 amp ratings on these cables, the red one and the orange one. So we're going to plug in all three and see what voltages we get in the car and then we'll know. How bad can an extension cord be? Here is the car's charge adapter being plugged in with just the charge adapter itself and no extension cords in the line. 122 volts before the amperage starts to ramp up. And I did want to make this on a 520 adapter, but this circuit is only a 15 amp circuit, so I couldn't do it. Okay, it's getting settled. We have 116 volts, 12 amps, and there's no warning coming up for a uh, extension cord being used that comes up over here. It's staying steady at 116 volts and 12 amps. Now we're using the orange cable, 25 foot long, 14 gauge. And I can see right away, we have lost two volts. We're down to 114 volts. Still at 12 amps, no uh, warning over here for an extension cord being used. Now we're on the red, Walmart 25 foot 14 gauge cable. And now we're at 113 volts. So you see, Walmart quality is inferior. It's flickering to 114, bouncing to 112, Going to 113, going to 114. Either way, it's not as good. And finally, we are now on the 40 foot long 16 gauge cable. And it is already doing very much worse. We're only getting 110 volts out of this cable. We're still at 12 amps. I don't see any warning coming up for an extension cord. But there is a very clear voltage drop. 110, 111 volts. So the small 16 gauge cable, it'll get power to your car, but it's not the best way to do it. I did want to have a 12 gauge extension cord to use in this test, but I didn't have one. And I was too cheap to go out and spend money on one just for this test. So, use your imagination. It would do a little better than the 100, 
um, it would do a little bit better than the 14 gauge cable. Maybe an extra volt. So there you go. There's the results of the test. Now you don't have to be me to realize you're going to get a voltage drop with an extension cord, but now you see how bad it can be. So if you're going to buy an extension cord, go big. 12 gauge at least, possibly even 10 gauge.